spoiler alert or spoiler warning just in case this actually comes true but it's only a theory yeah would you be able to accept terminator 6 if this theory is how things move forward right think about it this is why edward furlong isn't in terminator 6 i've heard a few rumors over the past few months but this one has stuck with me and it's the loss of john connor more and more i think about it the more i think it's going to become real it's at the end of terminator 2 we throw away all the evidence of any machines traveling back in time are melted chip melted t1000 melted t800 melted and let's say that lower piece of arm that's still left in the machinery is just a lump of crushed metal so there's no reverse engineering coming from that this means that judgment day has been prevented never happened meaning no reason for anyone or anything to time travel john has never sent kyle reese back in time so Sarah never sleeps with Kyle and never meets Kyle, meaning John was never born to be alive in the first place to send back Kyle. So it all becomes a loop of no one being around to do the things that they did in the start of the chain reaction. It's a brain buster if we go in for it for too long and we end up in a mess thinking about time travel. But with Jude Colley playing John Connor in a CGI role, then it starts to link into him only being a memory for Sarah Connor. That's why Edward Furlong isn't in Terminator 6, because he doesn't exist anymore. Maybe that's it for John Connor, or maybe this is a fight to try and put the chess pieces back so John exists again. I mean, why would you need Jude Colley to play a CGI role? It's either flashbacks, dreams, or so they can pull off a scene of John Connor vanishing at the end of Terminator 2. Anyway, I may be wrong, and this isn't even nearly close to the storyline, but it sounds cool. Them fighting to bring him back. Good idea. But it has been said that they are trying to reinvent the franchise. You know, start afresh with new stars and new villains. And this is the final hurrah for Sarah Connor and Arnold as the T-800. Could you get along with a new franchise, or the franchise, if this film works? Also, you know, would it be, uh, would it still be Terminator without John Connor? You know, if the story's done right, I believe it can be. It can be. I'm willing to see how it goes, and uh, you know, take it from there. I'm not going to judge it until it's happened. Also, it's like. Is Skynet just sending machines back, this is another theory, to cause an endless loop, just so it can exist? I love that idea. It's not really caring about the outcome, apart from them leaving something behind each time so the humans make more advanced machines each time. So they send back T-1000 to the 1980s, or not T-1000, say a T-800 to the 1980s, so they can create from that to make a more advanced unit that then will get sent back to the 1980s. That gets found, something else gets made from that which gets sent back to the 80s and so forth. I know it's crazy, but that was what I've heard all these theories before. So I'm probably gonna do a video on other theories, you know, the best ones and the ones that I like. But until then, I hope you're having a great new year. I wish you all a happy new year. Please like and subscribe for more. This is Upside Down 6.